Libra, oh Libra, what's popping? What's up, Libra gang? What's going on in the life of a Libra for the month of June? Hmm. Hmm. I, I said, I, I, I said, I said, I, I said, what's going on in the life of a Libra for the month of June? Hmm. Hmm. Hey, boo, hey, it's your first time to my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, if this first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. May cuss a little, may cuss a lot. Just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Because I'm going to do that. To the new subscribers, hey, y'all. Welcome to the family. We'll live dysfunctional. We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. We love. We enlighten. We grow. We share. We evolve. You guys, uh, this is not going to resonate with everybody. As it does, you know, it, take what does. Leave the rest, please. Um, you guys, in advance, thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. Y'all be growing. Thank you so much. Um, I apologize for getting to you guys a bit late as I am working on expanding a few things myself, which is some massive surprises. But I will be sharing, definitely. I'm switching things around um, and just gonna be still coming here and sharing my love and light with y'all also um it's a view contest going on the sign with the most views is going to be the sign that goes live uh with their messages by themselves um for mid-month june okay um so you guys get your view out get your view on <laughs> get your view on all right share it with a friend do you do okay so let's get it this will be for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Libra for the month of June. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found below in the description. Okay. So, um, as while I was tuning in into your, um, energy, meditating in your energy, the intuitive messages that I got for you guys was very interesting. And I had to actually question spirit, spirit, what is, is some of this Libra? Um, some of you all may be in the energy right now where you're just choosing to work on yourself. And some of you all, you're leading by example, meaning that you've expressed yourself. You've already told people within your environment how you want things to go, how you expect things to go, what it is that you expect out of life, how growth is going to go. You share some of your goals and ambitions. Some of you all, I'm hearing, I heard out grown okay so some of you all may be outgrowing um your surroundings or maybe it's the surroundings around your surroundings so if you're in a some type of family dynamic this could have to do with the outside world um this could also be not your immediate family but extended family coming for your immediate family so for y'all let's let's tune in okay so i had to get clarity on that because i was like really 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 because it was so much beautiful energy that i felt but then the cards, it was very transformative. So I was just like, what the hell? But I feel like, and Spirit was also wanting you guys to know that some of you all dreams may be intense when you can sleep. Because I definitely see some of y'all could be going through this. Some insomnia that some of us Aries are going through. So you guys, it's been really, really, really real. Okay? Intuitively, I got with you guys self-sacrifice, self-perception, plot twists, silent reunions. Self-indulgence, dreams, telepathy, dream interpreter, reunions, poker face, second chances, mental health, karmic justice, investments, collaboration, envy, stalking, obsessive thoughts, vindictive, fear of failure, stress, Gossip, manipulation, esoteric information, user, insomnia, codependency, divine path, confidence, trust your first mind, rivalry, self-care, stability, closing, new career, blockage lifted, release and watch, home wrecker, fortune, unexpected windfalls, and promotion. Okay? So let's go, Libra. If these intuitive messages did resonate with you, then definitely this is your message. Let's talk about it, okay? Overall energy around the reading, you guys got the three of clubs. So definitely, again, work being done on yourself. Some of you guys could be starting new jobs during this time. I definitely see that some of y'all could actually be starting entry level, and by the end of the year, um, could, have, could be receiving some type of promotions, like the promotion process. 
is going to be actually elevated for you guys. Your elevation process within the new job is going to be happening really quickly. Okay. Some of you Libras may be in this space where some of y'all may be waiting on some information to come in during this time. Some of y'all, this could involve um, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you all, this could also be information that's going to be uh, regarding like your stability. Some of y'all, this could also be some form of um, some type of closing I'm hearing. And some of y'all, this could also be if you are waiting for any type of legalities to be balanced out or things to be balanced out fairly or split evenly. I'm hearing inheritance. So some of y'all could be getting some, some type of information back regarding an inheritance. For some of you all, this has to do with the 401k or some of you guys were waiting to close or waiting to make a decision about taking 401k out to invest in some type of entrepreneur entrepreneurship, like entre, entrepreneurship or some type of collaboration to start your own business. Some of you all are needing to make a decision with this new beginning, with these blessings that are coming forth before you. For some of you all, this also has to do with an addition to your family, okay? Some of y'all could also, for those of you who have also been having issues around fertility, some of you guys could be finding out there was miraculous blessings that is occurring within the heavens as above, so below. Some of you all, some of you all uh, could be going through some type of separation of some sort. And maybe you're waiting on things to balance out. Some of you all just really want for things to be handled fairly. And for some of you all, this is you. You actually finding the, some of y'all, there's an alignment within balancing the masculine and feminine energies within yourself. And for some of you all, this has to be, some of y'all, something has to be split, split between the middle. Okay. For some of you all, this could definitely have to do with finances. Especially if you're going through some type of divorce or separation or some type of assets. Some of y'all could be um, dealing with someone who wants to reconsider a whole divorcing or some type of like legal documents that's been filed simply because this person didn't have time to really sit up and, and they say it's cheaper to keep the legal. Okay. Some of you all things will be balancing around, balancing out around the home space. Some of y'all could have possibly just recently or could have recently moved. And for some of y'all, you this is you about you balancing your finances while waiting to hear some to hear back from some type of loan, some hear something regarding a loan or some type of investment for some of you all. Some of you all, there is something coming in or some type of information or messages that could be coming in around the next full moon within the month. This could be involving um like a confirmation of your dreams. Some of you all to someone coming in to want to balance the situation out, especially if there had been some type of um, any type of in injustices or someone could have taken something from some of y'all I'm hearing. Some of you all, there's a conversation that is to be had during this month that's going to balance the skills in a situation. For some of you all, I'm hearing missing peace. So whatever you were waiting on to finally get some type of clarification before making a move, I definitely feel that there is going to be something that's giving you clarity, something that is bringing you some type of resource for you to make a balance and a balance and fully, fully aware decision. Some of y'all, you have someone come, coming back in. Somebody is coming in very fast and they want to, um, they want to offer you some type of negotiations, Libra. But for some of you all, trust what you feel. Okay, this person could be another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person could also be a fire energy. For some of you all, this could have to do with some type of collaboration. Really do more listening than talking when it has to do with investing in anything having to do with your money during this time. Some of you all are making a decision or needing to make a decision whether you stay and balance the situation or do you make a choice to move forward into something new, which I do see will be abundant for you. OK, some of you all, this is about some of y'all may be seeing a lot of fighters during this time, which does stand for abundance, good health. For some of you all, it's about. For some of y'all, it's about what you've invested when it comes to your stability or what you've invested in a situation, in a partnership. Some of you guys are weighing out the scales, you know, is what I invested worth my optimism around 
my personal growth, around my spiritual abundance, around my prosperity, around the legacy that I'm trying to leave and build within my field for myself and for my family going forward. There's a main, there's a huge focus around stability, fairness, balance, new beginnings for you all. For some of y'all, you may be getting news that uh, you may be pregnant or someone around you may be pregnant, okay? And for some of you all, this may be a hell of a choice to make because maybe you feel that you're not in a place financially where you can afford, you know, a new baby. But Spirit is saying, don't worry about it. That's not your, that's not your worry, baby. That's not your part. Because there is abundance around this situation. Some of y'all really have some damn lady luck on your side during this time. If you have been feeling to go to like, the, and I don't usually encourage gambling and shit like that. But if you've been feeling to go to the damn casino or a uh, scratch lottery tickets during this time, it's something about the next full moon, y'all. That's going to bring you some type of prosperity. Some of you all, there may be some type of unexpected income. Others of you are having to make a choice between someone from your past and someone who you could currently be in a partnership with. For others of you, this is about going back into your past and forgiving, forgiving the situation in order to, to bring balance into your current energy. Because for some of you all, this is about holding. This is about sitting on information, sitting on emotions, subconsciously sitting on fears and doubts about yourself. Some of you all are going to be looking at yourself in a whole new light. There's a need for you guys to focus on what you have and what you are grateful for during this time. Because as we all know, gratitude is the attitude for, to move us towards uh, reigning abundance. Some of you all, you really need to keep your ideas during, your ideas to yourself during this time. If some of y'all were thinking about going into a collaboration with someone or thinking about going into business with someone, some of you guys may be rethinking that idea and choosing to move by yourself, like move on your idea by yourself. And some of y'all, you may experience um, a situation when you find out that someone was either sharing your ideas with someone else or someone is getting ready to, uh, trying to manifest their new beginnings with your fucking ideas. And Libra, you, you ready to put up a fight about that. And I do see justice will be in your favor. There will be some type of compromise or some conversation that's had, but you're needing to stand your ground. Spirit is saying, do not hold that. Do not, do not, don't let that shit ride. Some of you all are, you, you may be in a space where you were waiting, you, you were having to choose between two people or someone in your energy had to choose between two people. And I definitely see for some of you, you're just going to decide to say, fuck the people. I come back to that, put that in my pocket right now and just work on healing myself emotionally and walking alone down the path of enlightenment. Some of you all may be um, wanting to go back to school during this time or hearing positive news about going back to school. And again, some of you all are needing to make a decision. Some of y'all are, are making a decision not to make a decision because. It's like some, I'm hearing fear of success. Some of y'all have a fear of success. It's like you have these beautiful ideas. However, there is some type of self-doubt or uh, lacking of confidence or some type of restriction upon the self. This is like self-restricted or self-fulfilled prophecies in which you feel as if you, you won't be abundant. And some of you all, this is what you're wanting to work on within the self. What you've been working on or will be working on in the month of June. But I do see someone making a decision to um, end a partnership or end some type of collaboration or some type of um, idea around working possibly with a fire sign or another air sign. For some of you all, you're making a decision to just start completely the fuck over. Like you're just not even worried about what it is that you've invested in the situation. You want to be happy. And in doing so, this is a part of, for some of y'all, some sort of soul contract here it's for you to choose yourself down the path of enlightenment. And for some of you all, you may just, again, watch who you have your business. Because some of y'all feel like you're sharing your ideas here. You're sharing your light with a bunch of energy damn vampires. These people just are takers. And you're making a decision to move on. Fuck it. You know, if you don't, two tears in the bucket. If you don't want to support me, you don't want to be on my team, no fucking problem. But what I won't do is let you just sit in my energy just all dry like The fuck who does that? All right, let's get it. So let's just see you have my beautiful Libras. I mean, rather than as well as cross watchers and love. Yeah, some of y'all could be, uh, some of y'all definitely have a fire energy that wants to come in and communicate with you to balance the skills here. Some of you all are choosing to forgive a situation and just move away from it. Forgive it and release it. It's not healthy for your growth going forward. 
Yeah. For some of you all, some of y'all could be dealing with a Gemini Libra, with Gemini Libra Aquarius, the Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay. For some of you all, some of y'all may feel abandoned or may be thinking about possibly leaving a situation, okay, or leaving some type of family dynamic. You could definitely be dealing with a Capricorn towards Virgo. Or someone could possibly, some of y'all could also be dealing with an earth sign who could have recently lost their job or will be losing their job. I definitely feel like this came at a time where you were kind of optimistic. You were keeping your options open about, you know, things that, things around your abundance, things around investing in ideas. For some of y'all, this is a time where you actually chose to invest in yourself and someone could be losing their job. So I feel that you, it's like someone is having to um, like reconsider or reroute, reroute their path. And for some of you all, you feel as if you've gone through enough. You're not in a space where you feel like you want to keep self-sacrificing and setting yourself back for another person because this has to do with your legacy, your abundance. Some of you guys literally could have taken a loan of some sort. You needed to make a decision if you're going to assist this person or carry the weight of paying all the bills or if you're going to move forward and just keep your damn options open. Some of you all could feel uh, possibly abandoned or some of you guys could, some, some of y'all could have been dealing with the sign of Scorpio. And I definitely feel like either you or this other person felt as if they had, felt as if they had a bunch of options or felt as if somebody could have snuck off to somebody else for financial reasons. And I definitely feel like all hell is breaking loose because Libra, I feel like some of y'all could be moving on to this abundance, okay, to gain this abundance. Some of you all, uh, some of you all, there's definitely some type of elevation when it comes to your finances you go from the five to the ten and i feel like for some of you all you could have been wanting to yeah for some of you all there is some type of moving away or moving forward in some type of family dynamic some of you all could have been dealing with an aquarius libra gemini like yourself i feel like this person could be moving away due to uh, them feeling as if there's some type of lack of finance, lack of finances, or some type of instability or in instability around finances. Uh, some of y'all, you could have been dealing with an earth sign and tried to thought the grass was green on the other side. They could have moved away to a situation, or this person is subconsciously thinking about moving away. So there could have been some type of tower moment. Some of y'all, you could have been dealing with someone who has some type of family issues, or yeah, someone needed to make a decision. This could also be you here with this two of swords needed to make a decision on if you're going to keep giving to a situation in which you which you feel is. For some of y'all, this could be someone who is battling with addiction issues. Someone could have a damn drinking problem, or the reason why they lack finances is because they put their money into the wrong damn shit. You're making a responsible decision. You need to make a judgment call during this time on which way you want to move. For some of you all, you could be dealing with a situation where someone has to choose between two two family dynamics. This could be something from your past as well as something from your future. Like something that you see, you need to make a judgment on some, somewhere where you see. Okay? There's two of swords. Give me a second. Somewhere where you see. Okay? I feel like Libra. This could be you. Some of you all, you could be dealing with the sign of Gemini as well. But I definitely feel like someone is needing to make a decision either regarding you or Gemini or you or Capricorn towards Virgo. Matters not the signs. I definitely feel like someone needs to make a judgment around a family dynamic, a family situation, around their abundance. Okay, and I definitely say their abundance because I feel like this is you make a decision upon if this is going to be a we decision or a me decision. It's got to do with the reconciliation. Let's just see how Kalifa in love. Yeah, somebody thought the grass was greener on the other side of tried to move away and manipulate a situation for finances and all hell could have broken loose with some type of tower moment. I definitely feel like some of you all some of y'all could be getting some type of esoteric or geometric symbols in your dream space that is assisting you with making some type of movement and, and, and like some type of direction in which way to go. Some of y'all could also be making a decision to split something three ways, okay? Yeah, there is definitely some type of change or some type of communication that is coming in that is going to cause some type of changing or uproar. Someone could possibly be planning to move quietly, like someone could be leaving in the middle of the night. This could have to do that someone could be communicating that they want to move forward. 
This could also be someone who you have children with Libra, where a situation could have possibly possibly been stagnant or stuck. Someone wants to come in and move things forward. They want to come in and bring abundance. They want to come in and bring fairness to a situation. But maybe you felt as if you were cast out or left out, okay? Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with a Pisces or another Cancer Pisces Scorpio. I definitely feel like there's communication that's coming in involving a fire sign or possibly a water sign or a damn Gemini. Some of y'all that damn Gemini want their family back, honey. <laughs> And some of you all, this could be involving, okay, changes around a family dynamic, all right? For some of you all, there could be news surrounding children. Someone wants to come in and fix things. Someone wants to work in some type of partnership, okay? Someone wants to work together. For some of you all, someone could have been not once yet. Someone could definitely want to heal a situation around family, okay? Let's do some clarifying in this thing. Why is the tower here? Some of y'all could have been dealing with a Scorpio that had to make a decision on if they're going to walk away from their codependent, their codependencies and this damn victimized damn way of looking at things to work on a situation or if they're going to resist changing and leave the goals and work on their damn self, okay? For some of you all, this could, yeah. Some of you all could have been, some of y'all could have been dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius. I feel like there was something, either you or another person, could have been resisting someone releasing and letting go of a situation to, to go out and explore their options. I feel like this situation could have caused a lot of anxiety, indecision. Some of you all, insomnia. Clarify um, the page of cups. Seven of cups. Yeah. For some of you all, this is healing after walking away from someone who thought the damn grass was greener on the other side or made you feel as if you were an option. Why the two of swords here with the five of pentacles? Yeah, for some of you all, some of you all, and I got the two of swords to clarify the two of swords on top of the five of pentacles. For some of you all, this is making a decision to either, some of y'all, this is making a, uh, making a decision to either leave a job and start your own business here, which you're going from the five to the ten. I definitely see with doing that, it's going to bring you abundance, okay? But some of you all don't know how to have a damn conversation. And some of you all need to, some of you all, what's, I'm hearing what's done in the dark will come to the light. Some of y'all need to make a decision possibly regarding the earth sign and the air sign. Why is the judgment card here? Hmm. For some of you all, I got the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Cups, okay, with the judge to clarify the judgment card. So some of you all, this could you look, this could be you making a judgment to stand up for yourself, making a judgment to speak your truths about what it is that you want, what it is that you're trying to manifest. And if either you're gonna get with the shit or get left, period. You're gonna get right or get left. Why is the lovers here? The moon. So some of you all could definitely be some of y'all I'm hearing secret reconciliation. So some of y'all could have some of you are, some of you guys could be connecting with someone um quietly. Some of you all could also be planning to move away and build with someone else. And you're making needed to make a decision on how to leave a situation because of what's been invested here. Some of you all may live with someone else. This other person who you're dealing with could be attached to someone else as well. Some of you could definitely be dealing with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio. And there could also be secrets being revealed um, regarding your partner or you, Libra. Why is the Six of Swords here? The Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. For some of you all, someone could have been watching you, okay? Or someone, oh, Libra, some of y'all could possibly be getting some type of not so nice communication. Or it could be spying. Some of you all could have also read or could be reading some type of like you could have read or could be reading some type of message in someone's phone, which current was starts an uproar. I feel like this is a conversation that has been had before and someone did not tell the truth. They're going to get ready to experience a power moment with you. Some of you all chose to be patient and then making a damn decision to not make a damn decision. Your damn decision making is going to fall right in your lap. Take your get out of jail free card, Libra, and run. Because for some of you all, you are needing to protect your finances and you feel the need to protect your finances or build finances in secret anyway. 
For some of you all, this could be changes coming to you. For some of y'all are going to experience some type of career transition. Some of you guys are stepping into your life path, your life purpose. Why the Three of Pentacles here with the Five of Swords? Some of you all, there is definitely changes coming to a situation that could involve children or that could involve um, an earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo. Someone... Someone could be wanting to work on a situation with you because they want to hold on to their finances or someone could be trying to control a situation around finances or could be trying to manipulate a situation uh, surrounding children. Why is the eight of wands here? Why is the eight of wands here for Libra? Why is the eight of wands here? Yeah, for some of you all, this is moving away from somebody after receiving some type of communication or some type of having some type of communication that someone... Um, just wants to keep their damn options open. Someone, y'all, some of y'all, some of y'all are definitely finding out that somebody been out here doing they do, sharing their juicy juice with someone else. Damn it, Libra. Because at the end of this reading, it ends with the Four of Swords, the Sun card, and the World card. Some of you all, this could definitely be uh, something that you've been resisting for quite some time, making a decision about. A particular situation or someone else yeah for some of you all this is about either accepting an offer or moving away from a cycle making the choice to communicate that you've outgrown a cycle where you can keep allowing someone to give very little to you for some of you all this is actually hearing some type of news about a children possibly with you uh, about children about a child possibly with or a pregnancy possibly uh, surrounding you or your partner some of you guys could be seeing 333 three, three a whole lot during this time. That could have, that's having to do with the expansion. You're going into a new life cycle. I got the world here two times. Why is the world here? Yeah. Going into another cycle. And I usually don't read reversals, but I got the two of pentacles in the upright. Okay. So you're releasing a situation where you feel the difference. You release a situation where either you or another person um, had to juggle. Okay. So if there was a third party, I do see there are three going to two. Okay. For some of you all, this is about taking a leap of faith. Some of you guys could be taking a leap of faith, possibly with an Aryan person. Moving forward, taking a leap of faith to heal for others of you, okay? Or starting something new, possibly with an Aries. Why is the sun card here with the hangman? Hmm. The sun card here, because we got the ace of pentacles. So for those of you who were afraid to start new, afraid to be the fool, take that leap of faith, spirit is saying, for what fuck? There's abundance, new opportunities, blessings. Some of you all, this is children. Congratulations. Look a little kid. Why's the hangman here? Yeah. For some of you all, this is actually having the strength to bring movement to a situation, to get out of a situation where you feel stuck or stagnant, okay? For some of you all, this you could be dealing with a Leo or a Pisces person. Some of y'all just could have to do with the Sagittarius, but I definitely see that this this, this is all happening in divine timing, y'all. Okay? So I definitely feel like some of y'all you may be resisting this change. Some of y'all just have to do with someone from your past. They're realizing that they want to make a U-turn. They want to hold on to leave, but they want to offer this connection. They want to offer this commitment. Others of you could also be dealing with the sign of Taurus. Some of y'all could also be finding out that someone could be holding on to you because they feel financially unstable. Like someone has a codependent connection to you. And for some of you all, you have ties to a past life where you had issues with letting things go that really didn't serve your growth. Some of you all, this is a test from the universe. And some of you have been praying to be released from a situation. You've been praying to be happy. You've been praying for these blessings. Spirit is saying for some of you, get this, this manifestation is coming. The truth. Some of you are moving away from a third party situation. Some of you all could be moving forward, not wanting to accept that. Some of you all could also be restructuring, reviewing, um, just kind of realigning what your values are. But again, I'm hearing what's done in the dark will come to the light. So you have to make a decision, Libra. All right. So y'all let me know how this damn resonated. OK, because that shit was the T. All right. Y'all let me know how this resonated for the month of June. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found in the description. I love you all a long time and I'll see you guys next month. Bye, babies.